Yo guys, what's going on? Zace is here today with another video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about something that BSG and Nikita mentioned they might change about PvE Tarkov and why I don't think they should do it. Do me a favor, make sure you're dropping a like on this one here today. And of course, make sure you're subscribing to the channel for more PvE content. So we recently made a video about why PvE solo Tarkov is going to get so much better. But now we're going to be talking about something that might make it a little bit worse. So recently in the Tarkov TV podcast, from BSG and Nikita, there was something mentioned about slowing down progression in PvE. Now, don't get me wrong. Myself, who has been gaming a shit ton, is already level 49, and there's plenty of people higher level than me, and there's people that had cap a weeks ago. I understand that there are a select few people who are going to be quote-unquote rushing through the game, especially when your PvE account simply does not wipe. Now, for everybody wondering, I've been getting this comment a lot, you will be able to wipe your PvE account here very soon. It should be within the next couple of weeks, and if not, then in the next couple of months, there will be an option to manually wipe your PvE account, but you will not be forced to wipe your PvE account. So Nikita mentioned that he just wants to slow down the progression for PvE Tarkov. And the reason I think this is not something they should do is because even though you have players like myself that are going to be grinding the game, they're going to be playing a lot, and just because we're super high level and we have all this stuff and have a bunch of money, I don't think it is worth it to impact everybody else who is now interested in playing Tarkov at their own pace. To make them level up slower is something that doesn't make sense to me because there's a lot of people who can only play two hours a week, one hour a week. And maybe even less than that in rare cases. And those people, they need to level up their endurance. They need to level up their strength. They need to get these skills leveling at the normal speed. They're already slow enough as it is. I've pretty much been overweight every single raid that I've played. And I'm only level 29 of my strength. And I've played 427 raids. And you gotta understand, I'm in these raids for a decent amount of time. Not all of them, but most of them. I am in for a fairly long time. And there's going to be people who, even if they're playing three raids a day, those might take 30 minutes a piece. That is going to be their daily allotment. And they are not even going to get a single level on their strength for weeks. To slow down progression even more just makes no sense to me. Let me give you another example that will truly put into perspective how slow leveling some of these skills already is. And slowing it down would just actually be a crime. It would it would be genuinely criminal at this point. So here is the surgery skill. If you don't know, every single time you do surgery in the game, you get 1.1 progression on your skill points. So to max out your surgery skill, to get it at the elite level, to max out your surgery skill, you would need to do one surgery for 4,130 six raids you would need to play over four thousand raids and you would have to do a surgery in every single one of those raids now if you do more than one surgery a raid you get more skill points if you want to completely max out your surgery skill the fastest and most efficient way then you have to do four surgeries per raid for like 1350 raids Think about that for a moment. That is absolute insanity already. And you want to slow that down? Absolutely not. It's going to take me 4,000 raids just to get my surgery skill up. And I don't even think I've done surgery like more than once every 10 raids. I'm just not, I'm not getting legged or armed. I'm just getting shot in the chest and dying. So <laughs> it's just like, it's just one of those things. It's one of those nuances that we can pick on certain things like this. And it makes no sense when you truly think about it. And there's a lot of things in here that it would just make absolutely no sense to slow the progression down on. I mean, if you want to slow down the XP, that's fine, I guess. But at the same time, don't release events that are going to give us 500,000 XP for completing the entire task chain. I mean, the Tarkov Mystery gave out almost 500,000 XP. You can't say you want to slow down progression, but then give the PvE side of the game the same amount of XP for some of these tasks. Maybe it was just an oversight. Maybe they didn't think about it, but that's not our problem. It will be our problem if some of these players who can't really even play the game at all, they can't even level a skill up, you know, and they can't even level up their PMC to get new tasks, to get their traders leveled up. 
a whole bunch of this stuff, right? So it really doesn't make sense to me why they would want to slow the progression down. For the players who are getting to a point where they're feeling bored or they're already maxed out, they already have Kappa, they already have Lightkeeper, they've already done everything, those players, if they want to, they will wipe their account. Don't slow progression down. Just work on that option to manually wipe your account, and I think all the problems will be solved. Because you got to understand, you're not adding the prestige system yet. You're literally just adding a wipe feature. So these players that wipe their PvE account they are simply wiping to wipe and restart and do everything over. They are not prestiging. They are not getting a reward. They're not getting anything special. The only thing you could do to incentivize a wipe is add an achievement for it. Wipe your PvE account achievement. To slow down progression makes absolutely no sense. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Just because I've been hyping up PvE and, you know, absolutely loving it and enjoying it doesn't mean we're not going to talk about some things that could be negatives and definitely impact the game in the wrong way so i uh, definitely had to make a video about this one and express my concern i think is the best word for it express my concern about making that potential change do me that favor make sure you're dropping a like make sure you subscribe to the channel for more pve i'll see you in the next video i'm out